Good morning. This is Pastor Bob Uzzle from the Bethel African Methodist Episcopal Church in Corsicana, Texas. Today is Wednesday, April 22nd. Today is Earth Day. That's an annual event scheduled around the world to demonstrate support for environmental protection. And since this date was first celebrated in 1970, this makes today the 50th anniversary of Earth Day. I remember the first Earth Day quite well. I was a student at McLennan Community College in Waco at the time. I had just begun my soft, uh, well actually I was in the, no I was still a freshman, I was in the uh, second semester of my freshman year at MCC. And uh, I, I just remember there were a lot of activities on campus and uh, focus on, on the earth and its preservation. Earth Day now includes events coordinated globally by the Earth Day Network in more than 193 countries. It was on Earth Day 2016, four years ago, the landmark Paris Agreement was signed by the United States, China, and 120 other countries. This signing satisfied a key requirement for the entry into force of historic draft climate protection treaty adopted by consensus of 195 nations present at the 2015 United Nations uh, Climate Change Conference that was held in Paris. It was in 1969, the year I graduated from high school, at a UNESCO conference in San Francisco, the peace activist John McConnell proposed a day to honor the earth and the concept of peace to be first, first celebrated on March 21st, 1970, uh, which was the vernal equinox. And this day of nature's equipoise was later sanctioned in a proclamation written by McConnell and signed by Secretary General Hugh Thought of the United Nations. A month later, United States Senator Gaylord Nelson proposed the idea to hold a nationwide environmental teach-in on April 22, 1970. He hired a young activist, uh, Dennis Hayes, to be the national coordinator. Nelson and Hayes named the event Earth Day. Nelson also awarded the presidential Medal of Freedom Award, and he was later order, uh, awarded this in recognition of his work. The first Earth Day was focused on the United States. And uh, by 1990, Dennis Hayes, the original coordinator in the 1970s, took a international, took an international organized events in 140 war 41 nations. Numerous communities celebrate Earth Day week, an entire week of activities focused on environmental issues that the world faces. Gaylord Nelson served as governor of Wisconsin, later U.S. Senator from Wisconsin. He was the father of Earth Day. And uh, he was uh, also a peace activist involved in struggling to end the Vietnam War. And from the very beginning, the cause of world peace and environmental protection have been closely linked. There's a number of organizations that are concerned about the environment. One is the Sierra Club. Another is Greenpeace, which uh, does a lot again to oppose both war and pollution, uh, which often go hand in hand. But uh, 19, there were uh, Earth Day events between 1970 and 1990, but uh, to be honest, I don't remember any of them. And uh, the first Earth Day took place in 200 college campuses and universities, um, including MCC, where I was a student at the time. Roughly 10,000 primary and secondary schools and hundreds of communities across the U.S. More importantly, it brought 20 million Americans out into the spring sunshine for peaceful demonstrations in favor of environmental reform. 
It now is observed in 192 countries and coordinated by the nonprofit Earth Day Network, uh, chaired by the first Earth Day 1970 organizer, Dennis Hayes, according to whom Earth Day is now the largest secular holiday in the world, celebrated by more than a billion people every year. He used the term secular. Uh, I'm not really comfortable with that because as a pastor for many years now, I've generally on the Sunday closest to uh, April 22nd, I have delivered a message some way related to environmental stewardship. There's many scriptures, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. Ye are the salt of the earth. Uh, there's numerous, you can you look up the word earth in a concordance, you're going to find numerous reference to it. And there's very, it's not that hard to put a sermon together related to Earth Day, and I've done it many times. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only pastor that's done that. Walter Kelly created an anti-pollution poster featuring the comic strip character Pogo with the quotation, We have met the enemy, and he is us, to promote the 1970 Earth Day. Environmental groups have sought to make Earth Day into a day of action to change human behavior and provoke policy changes. And uh, between 19... 70 and 1990, I, there were probably some Earth Day activities, but I really don't remember any. And 1990, I was living in Waco. Um, I was teaching at Paul Quinn College, which was then still in Waco. It would vote to move to Dallas a couple of months later. I was working on my PhD at Baylor. Earth Day fell on a Sunday. I preached uh, that Sunday morning at Good Samaritan Baptist Church. The founding pastor was my good friend, the late Reverend Napoleon Weaver, a very community-minded man. And uh, I know his son and grandson who followed him into the ministry, a wonderful family. But I preached that morning about blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. And at Indian Springs Park, there was all kinds of booths set up and a lot of activities to educate people about the environment. And two separate groups sponsored the 1990 events, Earth Day 20 Foundation, assembled by Edward Furia, Project Director of Earth Week in 1970, Earth Day 1990, assembled by Dennis Hayes, National Coordinator for 1970. Senator Gay Lord Nelson, the original founder, was honorary chair and they combined forces. They uh, did not combine forces over disagreements about leadership of combined organizations. That's unfortunate, but you know things like that happen. And uh, 1990, they included focus group testing, direct mail fundraising, and mail marketing. And it's got bigger and bigger ever since. Earth Day 2000 combined the ambitious spirit of the first Earth Day with the international grassroots activism of Earth Day 1990. This is the first year that Earth Day used the Internet as its primary organizing tool. It proved invaluable nationally and internationally. Kelly Evans, a professional political organizer, served as executive director of the 2000 campaign. And... Uh, Is one of the largest to date. Many people participating in places such as Kiev, Ukraine, Caracas, Venezuela, Tuvalu, Manila, Philippines, Togo, Madrid, Spain, London, and New York. It's gone global. Fast forward another 10 years, Earth Day 2017, the Earth Day Network created Four toolkits to aid organizations wanting to hold teach-ins to celebrate the theme environmental and climate literacy. Earth Day Action Toolkit, Environmental Teach-in Toolkit, Global Day of Conversation Toolkit, 
and Mobilize You Campus Teacher and Toolkit. During the 1960s, Senator Gaylord Nelson had been involved in a number of campus teach-ins about the Vietnam War. And he decided that the same approach could work in dealing with the environment. And, uh, and it did. Earth Day 2020 is the 50th anniversary. Celebrations include activities such as Great Global Cleanup, citizen science, advocacy, education, and art. We all know that the coronavirus has affected everything on planet Earth. And so now the shift is to digital mobilizations, individual activities such as education, cleanups, and where local conditions permit. At Earth Day Network, the health and safety of volunteers and participants in Earth Day events is our top concern, obviously. And uh, the here in my office, right behind me, there's a sack full of papers. In my garage is a bunch of plastics. Today is Wednesday, and uh, sometime later today, these papers and these plastics will be placed in my car. I will drive them a few miles down the road to a place called Retreat for to Republic Services where they do recycling. I do that every Wednesday, but it's significant that this time I'm going to be doing this on Earth Day. I've been a staunch advocate of re recycling for the last 50 years. And uh, as I say, it was first uh, focused on... Uh, The original Earth Day was on the 20th of March, uh, but that didn't last too long. And uh, why April 22nd? I'm glad you asked. Gaylord Nelson chose the date in order to maximize participation on college campuses for what he conceived uh, as an environmental teach-in. He determined the week of April 19th through the 25th was the best bet as it did not fall during exams or spring breaks. Moreover, it did not conflict with religious holidays such as Easter or Passover. It was late enough in spring to have decent weather. More students were likely to be in class and there would be less competition with other midweek uh, week events, so he chose Wednesday, April 22nd, hmm, 20 years ago, uh, 50 years ago rather, it was on a Wednesday. It's on Wednesday now. The day also fell after the anniversary of the birth of the noted conservationist John Muir. The National Park Service, John Muir National Historical Site, has a celebration every year on or around Earth Day called Birthday Earth Day in recognition of both Earth Day and John Muir's contribution to collective consciousness of environmentalism and conservation. Um, so there have been Earth Day songs that have been prepared. There are many performed on Earth Day, generally fall into two categories, popular songs, uh, contemporary artists not specified to Earth Day that are under copyright. An Earth an Anthem was penned by poet diplomat Abbe K, which has been translated into 50 languages. It's used by many schools and organizations across the world to celebrate Earth Day. Again, we, we're not going to have any big rallies today anywhere. Uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of things subdued and a lot of things online. I'm sure there'll be digital celebrations of Earth Day. If you have a chance to plant a tree, if conditions are right, do it. If you're into recycling like I am, do it. But let's remember the environment. As a Christian, I believe God created the earth. He's made us stewards. And we need to be good stewards of all creation. Happy Earth Day, and God bless all of you.